What's up guys? So today we're going to talk about one of the most controversial dieting topics that we can really come up with and that is carbs. When to have carbs, how to have carbs, what are you supposed to do about these carbs because they have been deemed the enemy. They are the reason that people get fat according to, you know, I guess society, whatever you want to call it. So today we're going to talk about carb timing, how many carbs an individual really should have, when to have them, um, what's important about them, and what's too much and too little. So, first off I'd like to say that this is dieting advice, this is an opinion piece, everybody does things a little bit differently. I am not someone who believes in the keto diet because I've tried it before and it didn't work for me perfectly because one, I had way too many cravings. I love carbs. I enjoy having good meals and feeling really full when I'm in the gym, feeling strong. Um, and, you know, I guess I didn't enter ketosis the way that some people do. Um, but I think it's a great diet if you can get it to work for you. If you can do the keto diet and really thrive on it, that's awesome. And, you know, by all means, like, that's awesome. Um, another thing real quick, I don't follow the strictest dietary guidelines. I don't, I don't count my carbs right now necessarily. I don't count my calories perfectly. I have a range of where I know I want to be. I'm not currently competing, so everything that I do is pretty much just an athletic-based, fitness-based, what most of you watching are really looking for because this is not so professional where you're going to be missing out on opportunities to go out with your friends and enjoy food or go to grandma's house and get a big meal. We're trying to have a nice incorporation of everything, a good balance. Anyway, two minutes have gone by and we haven't talked about it yet, so let's begin. Number one, for me, this diet is kind of a representation of carb cycling, carb timing, and the T-Dog diet. If you haven't seen the T-Dog diet, it's T dash D-A-W-G, T-Dog diet. So what I try to do is time my carbs to have them pre-workout, post-workout, that's it. Those are the only times where I really need my carbs, where I really need to spike my energy and my insulin. Because right now, when I'm not doing anything, when I'm just standing around, what do I need all that high energy for? I'm not using it. I'm just, I mean, I'm a little energetic right now, but I'm not using that energy to really to enhance my muscles. So the problem is when you have too many carbs that you're making your fat cells larger because you can't use that, that sugar that it's converted into. You can't use it. It's not going into your muscles. Your, your nutrients aren't going where you want them to go when there's too many because it's already flooded. You have too much in there. So what I try to do is time it where I'm having between 50 and 70 carbs pre-workout and 50 and 70 carbs post-workout. Now this is still a pretty low carb diet. There are times when I'm bulking where I will up that number to 70 to 100. But when I'm cutting, this, or when I'm cutting or maintaining, I try to keep it at 50 to 70. If I'm cutting, I might drop it a little bit lower down to like, you know, 30 or 40. But that's a, you know, a tougher thing to do. You will be a little bit hungrier. Ultimately, this is a high-fat diet, high-protein diet. So what I look to do is have 1.5 grams of protein per body weight. So I weigh, let's say, 200 pounds flat. So I'm going to have 1.5 grams per, per body, per you know, pound that I weigh. So being 200 pounds, you can do the math there. Um, I feel like 1 gram per, per body weight is a little bit too low, so I try to up that to 1.5 around that number. Uh, my carbs, I'm having between 0.5 and 0.7 grams per pound that I weigh. So, you know, when I'm having point, when I'm having, you know, 50 to 60 grams pre and post workout, I know that those carbs are being utilized because I'm going straight into the gym and really using that energy and using, and I'm using those little micro tears in my muscles that are going to be taking in these nutrients to help rebuild. And that's what I'm looking to do. I'm using those carbs effectively. So for me, I usually work out in the mornings where I'll wake up and have breakfast with a lot of carbs. I'll have my 50 to 70 carbs in the morning. And then as soon as I'm done with my workout, I'll have a carb shake that's also involved with my protein. 
And when I have that, I know that it's going directly into my muscles. It's going through that anabolic window, and I am going to use those carbs. I'm not going to store them in my, in my body as larger fat cells. I'm not increasing those. So that is my best advice to you on how to use carbs. Um, personally, I think that that's kind of the ratio that you should use. You know, if, you're, if you weigh 100 pounds, you don't want to be having 100 grams of carbs per meal. That's well over the top. Um, so what you're looking to do is to have about 0.5. You're having about half. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you want to have 50 grams of carbs throughout the day in this diet. Maybe 25 before you work out and 25 after. That's how I would do it personally. So I have energy for the workout and I have recovery after the workout. Um, you know, this diet is a little bit easier to follow than cutting carbs entirely because you know that you can have carbs every single day. You're not gonna be running super low on energy at any point and your muscles will still feel full and that's most important. Now keep this in mind as well, throwing this in there. Every fifth day to seven days, I will have a carb replenish meal. I don't have a cheat day, but I will have a very high carb meal where I just completely go off the diet and just consume a lot of carbohydrates. I'll try to have as much as I can just to you know, snap my body back into it, remind my body what a cheat meal really is because I don't want to be so strict. Um, sometimes I try to save these for, you know, nights out with friends or if I'm going to, you know, a family event or, you know, you want to go on a date or something like that where you can eat whatever you want. That's a good time to save it for. Um, this diet allows you to have a little flexibility like that so you can, you know, cheat every now and again in order to really enhance your muscles really because you're reminding your body what it needs to do to digest certain foods. So... T-Dog Diet, remixed a little bit by me, by the Muscle Mindset, Matty Mastro, what's up? So every now and then, you want to cheat off that meal plan and really replenish your body and remind it how to have these carbs and fats and really to increase your, increase your gains altogether. Um, so yeah, man, that's really my best advice right there. Time your carbs, have them pre and post workout only, it's the only time you really need them. And other than that, I think that you guys will be on a good path to make some gains, to lean bulk, as they say. It's hard to cut and bulk at the same time, but you can increase your muscle and burn some fat by doing this method, in my opinion. You gotta do it right, you gotta work hard, you gotta train intense, or else nothing works. So, let me know how it goes for you. Try it out, try carbs, try carb timing, you know, even if you don't, perfect the numbers right away. If you don't find the formula that works perfectly for you when it comes to how many carbs to have, try carb timing where you're just having carbs pre and post workout. And I guarantee you'll really enjoy the results that you get. You'll really feel a difference. You'll see some, some vascularity, some fullness, some things that you'll really like to see in the gym. So give that a shot and I guarantee you'll get, you'll get something out of it. And then eventually you tinker with the numbers and see what works, you know? Eventually you can figure it out. What's cool about this is with your carbs, if you're seeing that you're a little bit tired or you're not as full as you want to be, then you increase your carbohydrates pre and post workout. And if you feel like, all right, like I have all the energy I need and I still feel like I'm a little bit bloated or I still feel like I can cut a little bit more, I want to get a little bit less body fat, then you can decrease your carbs a little bit, you know, 10 or 20 grams per meal in your pre and post workout. So you kind of have full control of it, which is awesome. I think it's a great diet. It's not super strict. It's a little bit flexible. And it's something that's really worked for me over the years. So let me know if you guys like it. Give it a shot. Carb timing, tea dog remixed by myself. And yeah, man, let me know how it goes.